We're introducing new features as part of the Pro Distro. Starting off, we have Sync Patches. This feature allows you to patch Kubernetes resources during sync and right before getting applied to the Kubernetes API server. Next up, integrated Core DNS. vCluster Pro uses fewer pods per vCluster. Core DNS and the syncer are now in the same container. The API server container and the syncer plus Core DNS container all run in a single pod. Last but not least, the isolated control plane. This provides the flexibility to deploy the vCluster control plane on one cluster while hosting the actual workloads on a separate cluster. Now that we've gone over some of the features, let's go ahead and do a quick start demo and see this in action. So we can start out by using the new command vCluster Pro, which gives us two new options, reset and start. So we'll run vCluster Pro start here. And what this is going to do is launch vCluster Pro within our Kubernetes cluster. After it's started, it'll print out a login URL and we can use that and log into a browser to authenticate to the CLI. And that's what we've done here. So after that, what we're going to go ahead and do is use a CLI to create Hello vCluster Pro in the project default. And then we're going to run vCluster list to show that this is running and that we're off and that it is indeed pro. So let's go ahead and do kubectl get namespaces to show that we're actually within the new vCluster that we just created. And then we'll disconnect from that vCluster and we'll list the namespaces again. And you'll see that the namespaces are different in the base cluster versus the virtual cluster. That's cool and all, but hey, what about all these virtual clusters I already have running? Like I'm already using vCluster. What can I do now? Well, what if we import those into vCluster Pro? So that is gonna be an option with the CLI. And then this is just a quick demo showing a vCluster-OSS cluster being created, logging into our vCluster Pro environment, listing and showing that vCluster OSS exists, but it's not part of Pro, and then listing again after we've done the import to show that it is part of Pro. Let's go ahead and take a look at the UI. So what we're gonna do here is log in to vCluster Pro, and we'll check out some of the settings and, and options that you can configure here. So we'll start out with the project section, which projects are just the highest level organizational unit in vCluster Pro, and they basically contain virtual resources and play an important role in enforcing role-based access and quotas. And then we'll just take a quick look at some of the other features. So you got templates for virtual clusters, you got templates for apps, uh, you've got the cluster section, which shows connected clusters. You've got users, which contains users, teams, and management roles. And then we'll take a look at global secrets and then audit logs. But one of the coolest features that you can actually configure and set up for your users are templates. So let's go ahead and create a new template. So we're going to add a virtual cluster template. We're going to name this template vCluster Pro with Argo CD. We're going to check the vCluster Pro option, uh, look at which version of Kubernetes we run, K3S, and then we're going to look at the apps and we're going to add Argo CD as an app. So every time this cluster template is deployed, it will deploy with Argo CD. So we'll go ahead and create that template and then we'll go back to our virtual cluster section and we're going to create a cluster. So we'll create a brand new uh, vCluster Pro cluster with vCluster Pro with Argo CD template. Uh, on the local cluster, and we'll name it, and we'll let the demo keep running in the background, but I, I want to talk about templates. Templates are really cool because they allow you to set up and configure what applications you want to deploy when you deploy a virtual cluster. This is great for users because they don't have to think about the technology stack that you're using uh, in your clusters. You can just set up a template, and it'll deploy the base that they need, and then from there, they can go ahead, and they can add their application and start testing. But uh, you can also view information about what's running in the virtual cluster. So here you can see Argo CD is running. We deployed the template and uh, everything's going. So there's each section is here you can drill down into within the UI in case you don't want to do it from the command line. And that's your first introduction to vCluster Pro. We've been working on this for a while now and we're so excited to share it with you. If you want to get started or try it now, just look at the description below and there's more information about how you can join Slack or reach out to us. Uh, thank you for watching this video and we can't wait to see what you're going to do with vCluster Pro. Oh.